Hi, Firestone friends. It's your favorite student teacher, Miss Miko. I've been thinking about you all a lot lately, and since I can't be there with you because I'm kind of teaching and uh, a lot's changed over the past year, I thought I'd send you this friendly video to kind of just express my feelings for my seniors who are graduating and my juniors who are going to be seniors here soon enough. Um, I can't believe that it's already been a year since I've seen you. It doesn't feel like it. Um, I really miss you guys. As you can see, I am sitting in my classroom. Okay, this is my whiteboard. Yep, I put all their assignments up there just in case, you know, they want to see it. There's my cool fact of the day, you know, just to kind of make them at least a little more welcome into my classroom. And this is what the classroom looks like. Kind of dull, I know. And I'm only here for another week, so it's not really my classroom anymore. But my name's out on the door, so it's my classroom for right now. Uh, so I really miss you, and I really wish that I could see you. And considering that I'm still kind of sick, and I have a lot going on, and I know that you have a lot going on, I don't think I'm going to be able to come and visit before you leave. So I'm making this video to impart some wisdom on to my students that I miss dearly. Um, I thought that this was going to be an easy video to make, that I would just get up and start rambling and talking, but it's not really a very easy video to make because a lot of stuff is hard to say. Um, you know I really miss you. I think I've said it like five times in this video, and I don't think I would be a great teacher if I didn't have the experience of working with Parks and working with you lovely children um, last year. And I don't even think that you're children anymore. To me, you're more like young adults who are ready to go out and be an adult with me and in college and maybe in your senior year of high school. So I kind of prepared a little kind of lecture on uh, some tools and rules to remember when you get out into the real world. First, I'm going to talk to my juniors. I love you guys. I don't even remember uh, a day when you guys did not make me laugh and did not make me feel like I was not the only crazy one in a group of kids. I'm so immensely proud of you for being juniors and for maturing. I look at your Facebook photos and your Instagram and sometimes you'll text me from Park's phone, which is not okay by the way, um, to talk to me and it just makes me feel so proud to know that you are becoming young adults and that you are getting ready to go into your senior year. Um, I'm sure you already have plenty of people telling you what senior year is going to be like and how it's going to be one way and it's going to be so much fun. I want it to be fun for you. But I also want you to remember that you're only young one time and making a bunch of mistakes may seem like the best thing, but it's not. Be prepared. High school is just the beginning. College opens up your mind to everything. And it's even harder than high school, which I'm sure that you already know because a lot of you are taking college level classes. Yep, I'm a little bit of a creep. But how else am I supposed to know what you're doing with your lives if none of you talk to me? I'm immensely proud of you. And I think about you every day. And I look at the letters that you have written me. And I think about all the funny things that we did. And Sam, I still have the script that you wrote about me and Jess Hutcherson. My little tidbit of advice that I'm going to give my juniors before moving on. Don't take everything so seriously. Don't get overwhelmed by the having to prepare for college. So moving on to my seniors. And if I get kind of choked up, I'm sorry. But you know how much I love you. And it's very difficult for me to think that you are going to be graduating in less than a month. You are going to be high school graduates and you are going to be moving on into college away from high school life and away from everything that you've known for the past four years. I can't tell you that I'm so just overwhelmed with how put together you are for graduating from high school and moving on. Um, I was not that put together. You're there. You're taking that step and that's so great. College is a world of opportunity. Stay who you are.
and I'm so proud. I'm so, so proud, and I'm so excited, and I feel so blessed that I could be a part of your lives for a year, and I wish that I could be a part of your lives for the rest of your life, and I wish that we could call each other and talk to each other every day and discuss your life and where you're going. Moving on past high school is a really big step and it may not seem like a really big step right now. It may seem like finally I'm out of high school. But after you graduate and when they start back to school in August or September and you are somewhere different, you're going to realize what a huge step you're taking into that next new chapter of your life. You are officially working towards being independent and having a career and it's scary and it's awesome and it's exciting. Don't forget the people who helped you get there. It's so difficult to find good people in your life who stay there. Life is short. I did not think that I was. We all say, I can't wait to get to the next step. In elementary school, I can't wait to be in middle school. In middle school, I can't wait to be in high school. In high school, I can't wait to be in college. In college, I can't wait to be independent. When you get there, you look back and you say, I wish that I would have enjoyed it more. Enjoy college. Enjoy being in that unique situation of being a young adult who is still kind of a child, because you are, so maturing, but who can now make decisions that impact your life that your parents had to make for you before. Know that you're not the only person going through it. Thousands of people go through it every day. And thousands of people have gone through it and have come out on the other side perfectly content with their lives. Don't feel like you have to be that cookie cutter personality. Don't feel like just because you go to college in engineering that you need to leave with an engineering degree. Take classes that are fun. Take one class that is fun every semester because you need that. You need that de-stressing time to relax and to just have fun and be a young adult. I want to see you. I miss you. I want to talk to you. I want to laugh with you. And I want to know what you're going through. And I know deep in my heart that every day I think of one of you. Or every day I think of all of you. And I just wanted to thank both you and my juniors for helping me become a great teacher. Yes, I didn't teach you. But I feel like we've taught each other life lessons and things that I needed to know before I went into the teaching world and had to deal with everything that I deal with on a daily basis. I couldn't have gotten through my student teaching without you. Honestly, I couldn't have. You kept me sane. You kept me going to the point that even when I had my worst of my worst days, you were always there to make me laugh and to make me realize that I'm going to have the worst of the worst days. But the sun will come up on tomorrow and it's not going to be the same. Do something that you love. Don't do something because your parents want you to do it or because you think you have to do it or just because you're good at it. And I hope that you can remember me and think of all the good things that we've done together and all the things that we've gotten past together because it gets me through my days. It gets me through the hard times when I don't want to teach, when I feel like I'm the worst teacher in the world. You get me through it without even talking to me. Just being with me that year, the whole year. The school day is over and I am now back into my own house and my own bedroom. And there were a couple more things that I wanted to say before I ended this long but loving video. I will never be able to express in any words whatsoever how thankful I am to have been put in Firestone High School for my student teaching. I will never be able to look at <laughs> another student again and not think of one of you and think of the daily jokes and the daily um, ridicule that we would give each other. And I will never forget what we went through, and I will never forget any of one of you, any of your faces, any of the things that we went through, anything. Go to college. 
enjoy your life. I hope one day you look back and you say that I was right. Listen to your elders. You may not want to, and you may think that it's completely ridiculous, but please listen to them. Good luck with wherever you're going, and if you ever need a friendly person just to bounce ideas off of or to tell a joke to or to make you feel better, I'm always here. And I'm not going anywhere anytime soon, so you can always find me. One last message to Parks. We haven't talked recently, and I miss you. Um, I know that we've both been extremely busy, and I'm sure that you watching this video is probably cracking you up because my voice sounds all awful and nasally, and I'm sure you're thinking of a thousand things that you can tell me right now that I've done wrong. But you changed my life, and you changed me as a person. And I hope one day that I can return the favor, and I can change your life in some way. Because I don't think that I would have made it through student teaching, and would have made it through the last year of not having a steady job, and not knowing if I was ever going to be good enough to be a teacher without you there to support me and to yell at me when I've done something wrong, and to praise me when I've done something right, and to make me feel like I'm a better person for something that I think I would never have done in my lifetime. You are a wonderful person. You are a great mentor, a great friend, and if I didn't already have an older brother, I would say that you're the older brother that I never had, but considering I have an older brother, I can't say that. But you're like family to me, and... I think that wherever I end up in life, whether it be here in Struthers, Ohio, or whether it be Maryland or D.C. or Europe, for all I know, I think that I always take with me the lessons that you've taught me in being a better teacher and making sure that I reach my kids and not get so bogged down by the standards and the testing and making sure that they get the grades and just letting them be kids, but showing them how to be young adults and showing them how to care about others. You've helped me through a very dark time in my life, and I don't like getting all emotional, um, but I'm probably going to here in a couple of seconds because I honestly don't think that I could do anything or be anybody until somebody who had no idea about me, who told me flat out that if he didn't think I was going to be a good teacher, he would tell me. I don't think I would have been able to do any of this without knowing you and without you giving me the strength to just be me and to be the best teacher that I can be and know that I'm flawed and know that that's okay that I'm flawed because I am and we all are. We're human. So thank you, Parks, and thank you to all my seniors, who I'm not going to name because I don't want to point anybody out, but you know who you are. And thank you to my juniors, because life without you would be like day without the sun or night without a moon. It would feel incomplete and it would feel wrong. Have a good rest of your summer. Have a great rest of the year. If you ever need me, I'm done teaching on um, May 13th. So give me a call. I can meet up with you and we can chat and have a good old time. I love you all. And I hope that you enjoyed this video for the past 20 minutes. Bye.